Ubisoft really want to blame gamers. You own nothing, sign this waiver. So diverse, say the white saviors. Kyle Rappet up key leaf flavor. Identity politics inserted. Profit and interest diverted. Expectation subverted. They them shitted her, she squirted. Cock block big titty women, whoa. Stock drop to a decade lure. Brace for the piss like white snore. Bethesda knee keep taking arrow. Studio change names like a gender, halo, honk, nose flex, rainbow, suspenders, latinx, slurs, lgb, tormentor, you must be this black and gay to enter, please be decent boy sob, in between slurps on a soy knob, somehow my fault you pop off the cob, get comfortable not having a job, hacking, coughing, and delaying, time for an apology ukulele, ubisoft spies and sells all your data, you'll agree with me sooner or later. Hello, beta testers. <laughs> like and subscribe to join over 107,000 noticers laughing at the unprofitable fight against the male gaze. Oh my god, Kyle, you're so insensitive. What a prick. This person is harmlessly letting out their pent up frustration by screaming while driving their car. From my perspective, it's healthy, an outlet, and it bothers no one. The they are kind enough to share, may give others the confidence to bleh, bleh. Uh huh. You know, I think I get it. Since we were all born men, it must be the fact that we still identify as men that makes it so that we're not allowed to escape or be entertained by harmless outlets that happen to include women that have bigger than A cup tits. You know what I mean? It's that easy to spot you because some of us have no shame in our heterosexuality. Not buying modern audience slop really has ya moaning in cyberspace and it's signaling virtuously that you're worried of a future where even offline disconnected normies spot and refuse to fund at a glance your slop. When journalists and sensitivity consultants coordinate to terrify devs your words into getting your way, it's not bullying because it agrees with the agenda. We're the gayest Star Wars I think by a considerable. <laughs> because um, nerds are gay. Well, yeah. not, well, it's pretty gay, let's be honest. How do you feel? Am I gay? You, yes. Well, no, I know yeah. you are gay. Nerds are gay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you bring the score down, it's not bullying, but when apathetic gamers don't buy the forced gay slop they literally market as the gayest show ever and it's not for you don't like it don't buy it so we don't and suddenly we're racist and we're sexist and we're bigots and we're transphobes because we disagree with your injection of that heavy-handed messaging low quality propaganda pretending to be entertainment self-insert so hard that people realize the content isn't just bad it isn't what it says it is imagine us wasting time with bait a monetization director is dangling <laughs> You fear that incoming firing, bitch. You blaming people other than you? Damn, that sucks. It's all gamers' fault. You cuck. We did this? It's all gamers' fault. That sucks. People are so willing to turn off their brains when ingesting media and clap their monkey symbols together with their pinwheel hats, but your forced, gay, fat, ugly pandering will get you laughed out of culture's consciousness. You don't tell people what to like. That's not how this works. And the best some of you can manage is to say something brain damaged enough for people to laugh at you before playing the victim. They call us phobe for buying and playing the best-selling video game of the friggin' year that you won't even mention because of politics, and JK Rowling asserting the fact that to be a trans woman you must be born a man generates outrage in a way that they don't even realize makes them the fucking punchline. You see why I gave up trying to explain what the Streisand is to them? You see why it's not worth the time telling them not to engage because they don't listen. And some of them are so invested in attention that they'll do anything for a drop of it. The only thing they seem to hate more than reality is us not accepting the duty of reinforcing their delusion because we should volunteer unpaid, of course, to change their diaper. And why stop there? We should pay for the thing that they've latched onto to ruin because they can't create anything on their own. And what they're going to do is use it as a vehicle to preach, uh, to poison, to 
fill with boring, repulsive garbage that even with brains off, brows furrow. What is this garbage and who is it for? A question organically at the core of the rejection of woke, a question echoed in our culture. We aren't upset it exists, we are glad for those touched by it in the approved and appropriate ways apparently. We simply urge corporation and government to understand this decade-long prey for the gay to stay camp you hoped to turn the world into? It didn't work. So, unfortunately for Amandla, who says, I think nerds are gay. I think your show is canceled. Nice titties, though, might be able to salvage that career yet. With Disney telling them to tone down the gay and X-Men and Inside Out, but putting crap out like Agatha all along marketed as possibly the gayest Marvel show. My God, Slay Queens, yes, girl. Canceled damn near immediately. Ooh, work those delays, Ubisoft. Ugly women, sign me the hell out. Concord so repulsive it didn't make it two weeks and the non-existent interest in the pronoun political game made it clear free to play wouldn't change a thing. Dragon Age entities and tears say how dare you not buy my polyamorous companion queer loaded slop. We represent the surgery scars and if you don't like it don't buy it you tourist. Kyle doesn't have to joke because the ship running aground isn't figurative it's literal. It took a force of nature to impress upon a nation who mattered, and to these entities it's not you. You do not matter. I flex my heterosexuality with pride because of the money wasted proudly. Billions. Injecting what they know people won't like. Yeah, we knew you wouldn't like the Mary Jane sections, but the journalists mattered more, the critics matter more, so says Ubisoft. So. If that's not enough to rob people of, they're, they're trying to rob me. The second they see some of you giving as I prepare for another hurricane while waiting for the replacement cards, I choose to warn you against feeding the projectors who accuse you of the hate they harbor for you while extending their hand for payment. To them, your weirdos, your talentless freaks, your every bad word that they hope sticks, because if you don't agree, it's bigotry, and if you don't submit, then you forfeit your rights. They need to drag you down to their level and bait you, but you are fire. And you burn bright enough to light their straw man without engaging, when ex-Sony pussy too scared or stupid or both to address the fact that they keep hiring activists has to try and pull the old gamers have a problem with women card? When in reality, reminding them that only children that they're so desperate to appeal to, toning everything down and downgrading specifically the women while supercharging, electrifying it with the gay. Oh, kids, come get this. That's what y'all about. That's why they need, that's why they love kids in their audience. They got to tell you, you don't matter. You're nobody for the 50th time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the genuine diversity we used to enjoy and enjoy in Eastern games of natural feminine women, they'll wash over whatever they keep downgrading and trying to get us to accept as women. Lara Croft will never soar into the hearts and minds of normies the world over unless men are in charge of her again. They inherited the keys to something great that they just needed to keep churning out. But now they're saying things like, How can you wish a company to fail simply because they do not cater to you or that the product does not please you is beyond me? And then they're trying to rebrand and go, No, 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 right in front of your eyes. It's not ESG, it's not DEI, it's not, we're not 343 anymore. We're Halo Studios. And they share a dyed haired massive chief of staff who describes their role as ensuring the smooth running of the studio. I bet it gets bumpy like a poorly maintained fat fold. They say, and I quote, I'm a problem solver, a process builder, strategic thinker, an executor, an integrator, <laughs> communicator, and an advisor. Okay, man. <laughs> Her research in public focused on how people's social interactions influence their risk for HIV and substance abuse, particularly with African Americans and Latinx folks. LGBTQ 
people and women. Oh my God. Uh, so glad an ally is on the inside and you know they are an ally because they say so and there would be no other incentive for them to say and do these things. And the studio is just changing name for no reason. So there, this may not be funny to you, man, but I love you. I'll, I'll talk to you guys soon, man. It's, it's, it's a lot clownier than I thought it could get right now. Wow. Uh, LGBTQIA people and people who have been um, disadvantaged already are struggling. They already have their own things to deal with. So you add a disaster on top of that. Um, 